Here we have two kinds of tripods. Now you may think, well, they look the same. You know, a tripod is a tripod, but they're not. Before the invention of video, we used to do a lot of still photography. And still photography uses this kind of tripod called a friction head. It's good to lock the camera off and for a static shot, it's just fine. It holds the camera statically. You can't move it. It's just static. This is a fluid head. Now with a fluid head, inside here are baffles. And the baffles give it a little bit of restriction. And when you're moving the tripod, it's like running on fluid. And the baffles slow down or give you a little bit of resistance. So whenever you have a fluid head tripod, the first thing to do is unlock it. This is the up and down tilt. And this is the pan. And you just warm it up first. You should always warm up, just like a car. Warm up the fluid so it's flowing properly, so it won't be jerking you around. So you want to warm it up a little bit, backwards and forwards, warm it up, and then just close off, like in the hose, close off the fluid a little bit to give you a little bit of resistance so it feels good. So when you're following the action, you can follow it at the rate you want. So depending on how loose this is, is how quickly you can move this and how loose this is. Don't forget, before you leave the camera, always lock them off so it won't fall down and break the camera or topple over. This ha happens very, very often. The tripod will topple over. Another thing you can do is make a little like a sandbag thing. Just a bag out of hessian or uh, maybe a couple of old pillow slips. Put some sand in there, tie it off, and put a little bungee cord around it and put it around here somewhere, somewhere to put a bit of weight on the tripod so it won't be falling over everybody. Now, this here, this is a friction tripod. You've got to unlock it, unlock it, turn the hand, unlock it here, and look at this. It's, it's ugly. It's not smooth, it's jerky. If you're having jerky video and, and you can't work out what the problem is, you're doing the best you can, it's jerking all over the place, it's, it's really bad, I guarantee it's not you as the operator as much as it is a friction head tripod. So upgrade your tripod from a friction head to a fluid head. You can buy them from a couple of hundred bucks. It's really well worth the effort. You really want to invest in a good tripod. Another kind of tripod you can get is called a monopod. Now this monopod, I bought this one. It's a little bit nicer. Uh, this is a, a, a Manfrotto tripod. Most monopods have nothing on the bottom, but this one I have has this little thing on the bottom and it gives you the fluid head feel. So you can run around like this and it, you can go left and right. You can feel the resistance as you're turning it left and right. It's got a good resistance to it. And it's not just a ball on the end, but it's actually in like a little fluid head or actually it's a fluid bottom, I guess. And you can extend this up and use this if you're out in the field and you've just got something you want to steady yourself on then just steady yourself on something like this, a monopod. Great little investment to have. It'll cost you a couple hundred bucks also. The other thing you can do is when you're using your camera, if you don't have a tripod and you're using it by hand, lean up against something or have like a little, little bag of beans and sit the camera on the beans and use that as the camera steady. Find something to lean on or hold against and that will help you out a tremendous amount when you're shooting videos to make your video a bit more steady. Okay? Good luck with that.